excess of anything is bad. Once there was a dino school at the edge of the forest. There in a huge field was a massive tree right in the middle where everyone liked to eat together. Every morning the students would put their lunch boxes around that tree and return to savor it together. A cunning mini dinosaur was passing by the school when he saw all the food lying around the tree. For days he dropped by, steal a box and enjoy it. One day he decided to eat from all the boxes, enjoying one delicious meal after another. Soon he was full and sleepy. Drowsy, he decided to take a nap. Alas, the mini overslept and everyone arrived to see all his food gone. Hungry and angry, they beat up the sleeping mini. Running for his life, he realized that too much of anything is bad, no matter how delicious. The Road Neighbor Once upon a time, two kind and loving T-Rexes decided to get married. They invited the whole forest to their wedding. The couple was so kind and helpful that everyone showed up. They welcomed everyone but noticed their old neighbor, the Notoceratop dinosaur, hadn't showed up. A few days after the wedding, worried, they visited the old neighbor and inquired after his help and the reason for not coming to the wedding. The mean old dinosaur said to the couple, I don't have time to waste at useless events like a wedding. I have better things to do. Hurt and angry, the couple told the old dino never to talk to them and they would never be kind to him again. For he might be honest, but it was so hurtful that it shouldn't have been said. And then they stormed out of his house. Don't blame others. Zoe was a young dinosaur who had just started going to school. She loved it there. Every moment spent in school amongst friends. Learning something gave Zoe great pleasure. One day on her way to school, she passed by a beautiful garden full of colorful and pretty flowers. Zoe couldn't control the urge to pick one. But being a good child, she looked around for someone to seek permission from. Finding no one around, she plucked the flower. But the moment she did so, a yelling dinosaur came out of nowhere, followed by an older one. Scared, Zoe dropped the flower and apologized profusely. The older dinosaur smiled and replied, If I didn't want anyone, Plucking my flowers, I should have put a sign about it. It's not your fault, it's mine. And I never blame others for my own faults. You can take as many flowers as you like. Clever Tony Tony was a clever and cunning dinosaur. One day he went to a neighboring dinosaur city for some work. There he went inside a hotel famished but completely out of cash. Having had his fill, he stood on a tabletop and announced, I challenge everybody present here that none of you has ever seen a dinosaur with its tail where its head should be. Everyone thought that he was bluffing. One dinosaur got up and said, It's impossible. If you show us, then I will give you money. Tony took them to the forest where he had tied two of his friends in such a way that one's head was where the other's tail was. Everyone laughed, having understood how clever Tony was. The dinosaur happily gave him money, enough to pay the bill and have a drink too. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.